Hi, and welcome to this new Touch Designer Quick Tip. In this short video, we'll be looking at how to create this um, color and glowing effect that you see in this sketch inside Touch Designer and working only with dots. So, I just created a small sketch with uh, Touch Designer, so basically a moving noise um, in front of a black background so we can see the glowing effect. This is only uh, going to require you to, for you to use tops, so it's a very simple technique to create this kind of light glowing effect and also not too much demanding on your computer. So first thing we need to create is a feedback loop. So I will place over right there. And then our usual elements, so feedback, followed by a blur in this case, and a level. And I will bring it back in the over, connect this one, and bring it over inside the feedback. As you can see, there's already a glowing effect. We're going to change a couple of values. First off, filter size to 32, and simple steps to 2 and 2. And now it's a bit much in the glowing uh, effect, so let's bring it down to 0 0.6. Okay, so now it's not that much. You can play, of course, with this value, bring it up or down as much as you like. So this is already the color going effect uh, completed. Uh, next thing we're going to do is how to create this uh, light effect. So how to kick it up a notch and make our color more bright and more kind of light emitting in a sense. So first thing we need to do is add another composite element and there, and a constant. We'll start with a gray at 50%. So there, I'll use 0 0.5. I'm just going to place my there, show you this element. And the thing we're going to use in the operation is overlay. What overlay does is it's gonna take this value and for the pixel that are lighter than 50%, uh, lighten the pixel uh, that it's receiving, and for the pixels that are darker, uh, darken those pixels. So right now, of course, it doesn't uh, do anything. As you can see, this, these images are exactly the same. But from the moment I will bring this color up over at 0 0.5, you will see that the pixels are going to go brighter. So that's it. This is how we create this effect. Of course, you, if you bring those values very high, uh, it will burn the image, but also create a nice lighting effect. So of course, play with those values as much as you want. And it also depends on the uh, sketch you're actually trying to create this effect on. As usual, uh, tell me in the comments if it's useful for you, if you enjoyed it. And if there's also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them there as well. As usual, take care and see you in the next one.